Hello everyone, I'm Matt Mitrovich, the Alternate Historian. I have to admit that when it comes to alternate history, one area where my knowledge is pretty limited is video games. There is an impressive library of video games set in different timelines. They can range from the recent Wolfenstein games, which follow the standard Nazis win World War II alternate history, to the dozens of grand strategy games produced by Paradox, which allow you to take control of a nation and change the history of the entire world. Now, as a kid, I played a lot of video games, mostly on Nintendo, consoles, or PC. But as I became an adult, I found I had less time to commit to gaming. When it comes to video games these days, I leave it to the Let's Players I find funny enough to get me to subscribe to their channels. So unfortunately, when it comes to video games, you're just not going to see a lot of content about them on this channel, because I just don't have the time to... What? I have a Patreon request? To do a map analysis? From a video game? From Fallout? Really? Alright, let's do this. This is the map of the 13 American Commonwealths from the video game franchise Fallout. For those who don't know, Fallout is a post-apocalyptic role-playing game series set in the 22nd and 23rd centuries, after a nuclear war devastated the Earth, where you play as one of several protagonists adventuring across the wasteland that was once America. Despite its futuristic setting, Fallout is actually an alternate history. Now, I admit I'm not sure exactly when the Fallout timeline diverged from our own, but to be fair, neither are its fans. The fan sites I read confirmed that the game's actual point of emergence is unknown, although most agree that history began to change after 1945. Changes to our timeline include technology like the transistor not being invented until 2023, although certain events like the counterculture movement of the 1960s still happen on schedule. Damn those hippies! They're like cockroaches! They're impossible to kill! Nevertheless, whatever changed history led to an Adapunk-esque expansionist America that glorified 1950s culture and cared little for the liberties guaranteed by its constitution. Insert joke about the Republican Party here. Before it was destroyed in the Great War of 2077, however, the United States created a new intermediate level of government in 1969 between the federal and state governments. Thus, we get the 13 commonwealths you see before you. In the Fallout universe, these commonwealths were given certain powers usually reserved to the state, such as issuing license plates and establishing preservation areas. From what I can tell, the goal for these commonwealths was to help the states create legislation that would be a better fit for their specific regions. But in the end, it just added more political strife to a country that was still trying to stamp out communism and secure the last remaining deposits of oil. But enough backstory and forced jokes, let's get to analyzing. The image I was asked to review is posted on the Fallout Wiki, also known as Nukipedia, by a user named Daesh, but he credited on Mr. Sawyer for the map itself. Based on my Google Foo, it looks like the Sawyer they were referring to was Joshua Eric Sawyer, or J.E. Sawyer, the lead designer and product director of Fallout New Vegas, who was also the creator of J.E. Sawyer's Fallout role-playing game, a semi-canon tabletop role-playing game that brought elements from Van Buren, the name of Black Isle Studios' version of Fallout 3 that was cancelled in 2003. Nevertheless, it appeared much of what we know about the Commonwealths and which states made up them can be credited to Sawyer. That said, I've never actually played Fallout, and everything I'm telling you comes from fan wikis and Reddit, so it's possible I'm getting things wrong, and if I do, please correct me in the comics. Anywho, back to the map. To be honest, this map is fine, but not very creative. It looks like someone just found a blank base map, used a fill-in tool from Microsoft Paint, and added some text. Great for visualizing the different American Commonwealths, but not fun to look at at all. There are better fan-made versions of the American Commonwealth, such as this one I found by an artist known as Okir, which overlaid the borders of the Commonwealth with their flags. But since I wasn't asked to analyze Okir's map, I will stick with what we got. But you should all go and check out Okir's DeviantArt profile, because he makes some pretty cool stuff. So artistically speaking, this map is very meh. But is it at least plausible? Well, based on my knowledge of history and geography of our timeline and what little I know of Fallout's timeline, I can't say it is. Some of the groupings make sense, like New England, which is a distinct region of America with a long history of cooperation between the states. Others, like the Gulf Commonwealth, also work since each of their members would be dependent on trade coming through the Gulf of Mexico. That said, a lot of the groupings seem arbitrary. For example, why is Ohio part of the East Central Commonwealth and not the Midwest Commonwealth? Wouldn't Ohio have more in common with the other states of the Great Lakes Rust Belt region? On top of that, wouldn't the rustic West Virginia be better suited for the East Central Commonwealth rather than the Eastern Commonwealth, which would inevitably be dominated by the rich and populous New York? How does that really make things better for West Virginians? Also, why the hell is California split between the Northwest and Southwest Commonwealths? Has it become two states in this timeline, or does it still exist as one state, although split between the two commonwealths? I couldn't find any clear information on this, and the Fallout Wiki kept referring to the different halves as Northern California and Southern California, rather than North or South California, which would be the correct nomenclature if there were two Californias. Just like how there is a North Dakota and a North Carolina, rather than a Northern Dakota and a Northern Carolina. I mean, a part of me understands why the split might happen. California on its own would be one of the top ten largest economies in the world. Thus, any commonwealth that got them would have a huge advantage over the others. Nevertheless, if California hasn't been split into two states, it would create a bureaucratic nightmare with all the counties still beholden to the state government in Sacramento, with some able to apply different laws and others because of the specific commonwealth and the state government would have to account for this, and 
Oh god, why would anyone do something so stupid? So, I'll just end my analysis here. The Fallout Wiki's map of the 13 Commonwealths isn't very creative or realistic, but for what it is, it's fine. Also, considering that in the Fallout universe, nuclear radiation causes mutations, creating giant brass and ghouls rather than horrible death by cancer, maybe even I can admit that seeing a corrupt bureaucracy arbitrarily place states in a new intermediate level of government that just makes things worse isn't that far-fetched at all. Well, that's all I have to say on the subject. If you like what I do, please comment, subscribe, share this video, support me on Patreon. I'm Matt Mitrovich, the Alternate Historian. Bye!